What's good, Snow King? It's your boy, Up Class, and you are now tuned in to the Realist Reaction channel on YouTube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe. Yes, yes, subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I need everyone to subscribe right now, man. If you support the channel and you want to see niggas going up, subscribe. All right, first you flick this switch, then this switch. That activates it. Then you hit that subscribe button, man. Don't push this button. If you support the channel and you want to see niggas going up, subscribe. Now, repeat back what I just said. Stella gang. Uh-huh. Stella gang. That's right. Stella. No! No, that's the button that will kill everyone. You fucking dickhead. Hey, I'm shot, nigga. I'm Watch your step, just mind my kicks. See me with a hoe, but it's not my bitch. Can't love no hoe, man. I love my chick, but I be looting. Take your bitch, she love my movements. I be shooting. Hit the bell notification, I mean, so you're notified every time I drop a new video, man. Don't get punched in the face. This would be BMG, no doubt. He get big racks. You feel me? You already know. BMG got the city hot. That's a fact. Yeah, got the city high. Audi, 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 And today, I'm going to be reacting to how Lil TJ got shot in robbery attempt. Three people arrested. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it and see what I'm going on. Fortunately, Lil TJ... In the hip-hop world, countless rappers have been affected by gun violence, and unfortunately, Lil TJ has become the latest victim of this never-ending cycle after getting caught up in an attempted robbery. Stay tuned as I bring you the details. On Wednesday, June 22, 2022, at approximately 12.08 a.m., officers from the Edgewater Police Department, New Jersey, responded to a 911 call. The call was about a shooting that occurred at 14, the Promenade, which is a shopping plaza in Edgewater. When officers got to the area, they found a badly injured 22-year-old victim suffering from multiple gunshot injuries. This individual was none other than Lil TJ. As expected, the individual who pulled the trigger and left them with a bullet hose was nowhere in sight, and officers were left to wonder about the motive behind the shooting. Now, that was not all officers had to do for that morning. Just down the road was an Exxon gas station, and there, authorities found another man that had also been shot. But unlike Lil TJ, this second man had been shot only once. The identity of this second victim was soon revealed to be Antoine Boyd, a close friend of Lil TJ. According to reports, TJ and Antoine Boyd were both transported to the hospital for medical treatment. Now, while Boyd's injuries were said to be non-life-threatening, Lil TJ, on the other hand, had it much worse. He was listed in critical condition because the bullets that were fired at him were reported to have hit him in the chest. And as you know, the chest is a pretty- Yo, No funny shit. Lately, mad people who've been dying been getting hit in the chest. Like, everybody just hitting people in the chest lately, bro. Sensitive part of the body. To save Lil TJ's life, emergency surgery was quickly carried out on him. Following the shooting, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office posted a short statement on Twitter saying that the BCPONJ Major Crimes Unit and Edgewater Police Department were investigating the shooting, which had taken place at midnight. No additional information concerning the shooting was provided in the tweet at that time, but more details was promised. Well, when Lil TJ was confirmed as one of the victims of the shooting, fans and friends took to social media to share their shock, good wishes, and also pray for his quick recovery. French Montana, who in the past had collaborated with Lil TJ, was one of those who sympathized and sent his prayers after learning about the incident. In a post on Twitter, he asked for prayers for Lil TJ. American basketball player Miles Bridges, who plays for the NBA Charlotte Hornets, also had kind words to say about the situation. He made a post on Twitter which says the following, Not Lil TJ, y'all pray for bro. Well, it's not surprising that Miles Bridges was one of those who was distressed by the news since he also dabbles in rap. Casanova, who's currently locked up behind bars in New York City on RICO charges, also reacted to the news of the shooting. He took to his Instagram stories to show his support and also pray for Lil TJ's recovery. 
the post he made reads, Nigga, you know better. Praying for you from my jail cell, little bro. You gonna be alright. Tough times don't last long. Only tough people do. And you a bad motherfucker. When you get out, stop by the crib and pick that bulletproof up. At Lil TJ. The Bergen County Prosecutor's Office soon followed with an update on Twitter about the shooting. In the post, it was revealed that as per the investigation conducted by the authorities, the shooting did not appear to be a random act. Upon the state of Lil TJ and Boyd's health was also given, and it was positive. Lil TJ was said to have been upgraded from critical to a stable condition, while Boyd, who had non-life-threatening injuries, was stated to be in good condition. Now, because authorities did not initially release detailed information about the incident, people were left to wonder what had really caused the shooting. Rumors began to go around with some even saying that envy might have been the motive behind the shooting. To support this, people pointed to a particular post that Lil TJ had made on his Instagram story a couple of days before the shooting. In that very post, he was said that just because you roll with a person and are on good terms with them should not make you feel entitled to that person's wealth. That's well, exactly. those were not his exact words. This is how the post That's goes exactly. instead. Just because you've been around a person doesn't make you entitled to the fruits of the person's labor. He also added, Envy is at an all-time high. Be safe out here. Now, it's not clear Lil TJ was directing the post at anyone, but fans took it to mean that someone on Lil TJ's crew was beginning to have an entitlement mentality, and Lil TJ had used the post to address the issue. It was even said that this person, believed to be addressed in the post, had been involved in the shooting. Another rumor that spread due to the lack of information was that Lil TJ had gotten into a fight. Yeah, we, another rumor that spread due to the lack of information. <laughs> that shit ain't about lack of information. People just be acting like they're cops and they want to put together stories that's not even the situation, you feel me? Like, niggas need to give it a break. Stop trying to put together stories. Y'all niggas don't know what happened. Just say, yo, you know, we hope he get better and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas be trying to put together stories. Fight with a couple of people at the site of the shooting, and this had then escalated into a gunfight. Well, as more details about the shooting began to emerge, all of these rumors were laid to rest. The real reason behind the shooting got out, and it turned out to be an armed robbery gone wrong. And this is how it happened. In the early hours of the day of the shooting, Lil TJ and two of his friends, Jeffrey Valdez and Antoine Boyd, had been minding their business when all of a sudden, an armed man approached them and demanded for jewelry. Lil TJ and his friends resisted the man's robbery attempt, and things took an ugly turn from there. The robber fired his weapon, hitting Lil TJ multiple times in the chest, and also hitting Antoine Boyd once. In return, Lil TJ's friends, who were also armed with guns, put out their weapons and fired in the robber's direction. The robber was hit multiple times, and according to an eyewitness, he was then dragged to a nearby BMW by an unidentified individual. The identity of this robber was soon revealed to be 27-year-old Mohamed Kanate. Several hours after the shooting, he was arrested by detectives for the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office in New York City. Get to an update now. A man is in custody and charged in connection to shooting two men in New Jersey after an attempted robbery. And one of those victims identified as Bronx native and rapper. Now as to how Mohamed Kanate Damn. was arrested. He had gone to a hospital on the Upper East Side of New York City to receive medical treatment for the gunshot injuries he had sustained. Unfortunately for him, authorities had also done their job by leaving no stones unturned, and he had fallen right into their arms. Also, according to reports, Mohabi Kanate did not arrive at the hospital by himself, but had been dropped off by a BMW, which authorities say was the same BMW that had been dragged into during the shooting at Edgewater. Authorities have Holy also listed shit. the person who dropped off Mohamed Kanate as a possible unidentified co-conspirator, and the search for this co-conspirator is underway. Now, after Mohamed Kanate and look at this shit. Watch this, right? If that's his actual vehicle, that's how they gonna catch him. If that's his actual vehicle, that's exactly how they gonna catch him. Cause one, I could tell you, I could tell you right now off the rip. If it's his car, he's gonna try to say his car was stolen, right? If he says his car was stolen, they're gonna go look up his records like his pictures on social media, see if he's associated with the nigga who got shot. You feel me? See if he's associated with their crew. And they're going to be like, yo, you're lying. Your car wasn't stolen. You was the one driving it. You feel me? Unless you want to say that your mans who got shot and someone else stole your vehicle. You feel me? Now he going to have to say, oh, yeah, them, I ain't give them niggas permission to use my car. 
You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna be screwed all the way if it's if it's his actual vehicle, cause they're gonna run them place. They had to drive past cameras. You feel me? So they're gonna run them place. Obviously, you pull up at a hospital, they got cameras. They gonna run them place. Nate's arrest. He was slammed with three counts of first degree attempted murder, three counts of first degree armed robbery, second degree possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose, second degree unlawful possession of a weapon. Second degree, certain persons not to possess a firearm, and fourth degree, aggravated assault. Also, according to reports, he would be extradited to New Jersey, where the crime occurred. And at the time of making this video, his extradition is said to be pending. Now, Mohamed Kanate wasn't the only one who got into trouble with the authorities because of the shooting. Lil TJ's friends, Jeffrey Valdez, and Antoine Boyd also got into trouble as well because they both had guns and fired them. The two men were arrested and charged with second degree unlawful possession of a weapon. Both men were then locked up. And then the fucked up thing is, right, Lil TJ ain't in a condition to put up for these niggas lawyers for, for protecting, trying to protect him and shit, you feel me? And it, what's also messed up is the fact that they're getting charged for defending themselves. You know what I'm saying? This, the, the, the country is just crazy, bro. But the Bergen County Jail, and according to reports, they both have their first court appearance at the Central Judicial Processing Court in Hackensack, New Jersey. The date on which this will take place is still unrevealed at the time of making this video. Now, the news that Lil TJ's friends had also been arrested by the authorities did not sit well with a lot of people. Many felt that Jeffrey Valdez and Antoine Boyd's possession of unlicensed firearms was no Shit. doubt wrong. However, since they had not hurt anyone while carrying the guns, arresting and hitting them with charges was considered to be way too extreme. Angry fans also yeah. pointed out that the two friends had only pulled out the guns and fired in self-defense to protect themselves and Lil right. TJ. And if they had enacted the way they did, Lil TJ might be worse off than his current state. Now talking about Lil TJ's current state of health, there have been several conflicting reports about this. As mentioned earlier, a statement by authorities revealed that his condition had been stabilized and he was on the road to recovery. But according to another report, he has supposedly remained unconscious after undergoing the emergency surgery. And the only significant movement he had made since then was moving his legs. Also, there's word that he was scheduled for a CT scan and hopefully this would help to determine the extent of the injury he sustained. There are many more scary reports going around about Lil TJ's health. For one, he's rumored to have suffered a collapsed lung and also, some are saying that he's brain dead. But all of these rumors are still unconfirmed and might just be nothing but false news that's being spread. And at this point, it's only an official statement from the authorities or his family that will help put the rumors to rest. It's just really sad and crazy how the whole situation turned out for Lil TJ and his friends who were involved in the shooting. It's sad because I'm pretty sure that part of Lil <coughs> TJ's plan for this year did not involve getting shot and becoming hospitalized Shit. for it. It's also crazy because the area in New Jersey where the shot. shooting took place has been regarded as a peaceful location, but still yet, the violence caught up to him. The accusation against Lil TJ's friend. See how he said over there is a peaceful location, but the violence caught up to him. What you gotta understand is, right? It, once you're in a, like a, a, a position like Lil TJ, you can't just be openly letting everybody know where you're at. I know some of y'all niggas got friends that y'all grew up with and shit like that, but my nigga, some of your friends that you grew up with, you got to link them at another spot. You feel me? You can't be having everybody where you're at because now people know, yo, he be around this area. Yo, he moved over there. And the thing about it, why do niggas always want to move to places where everybody else is moving to? Like, Edgewater, it got mad other celebrities and rappers that all go there. Why would you want to go there? Niggas got friends. Oh, shit. Oh, you know, I seen Lil TJ coming out of the spot over here. Woo, woo, woo. Now niggas outside the spot waiting. They see you. They following you around. You don't even know niggas telling you. You hop out of the gas station or some shit, and there you go. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to move a little bit more tax, son. That, that You got to have that spot where everybody don't go with you. You know what I'm saying? You got to be in that area where everybody don't... I mean, obviously, you, you have a face card so people will recognize you and shit like that. But it's easier for you to go somewhere with people you know and they know that you're in that area and they tell somebody in the hood. Maybe they're not trying to line you up and shit. They just tell somebody in the hood, like, oh, yes, I went over there to Edgewater with TJ shit. Lit over there. Fire, bro. The cribs over there. Nice. And you're just having a regular conversation 
But that person now go tells it to somebody else. Yeah, it's all right. This nigga got fire-ass crib in uh, uh, Edgewater. Now, that person he tell it to could be friends with a motherfucking op. And then the story goes around. And now, boom, niggas over there in Edgewater waiting and shit. Y'all niggas got to be a little bit more taxed, son. Feel me? All that friendly, friendly shit. You feel me? That shit is just crazy, yo. Is also something to consider, but if you ask me, these charges are still at the moment merely accusations, and hopefully, it comes to nothing. Who knows? The charges against them might just be dropped, or at worst, they might be placed on probation and made to pay some fines. Mojave Konate, no doubt, has a lot to answer for, and hopefully, the man he's put in the hospital bounces back on his feet pretty soon and goes back to making his music. Whoa. Hey, you, yeah, you, you like the video? Great, we got another one. Hey, you, yeah, you like the video. <laughs> Hey yo, man, look, this whole situation just crazy, you feel me? Prayers go out to TJ, you know, and his his family and shit. Hopefully he make a speedy recovery and shit like that. Hey yo, man, the streets is cold. Y'all niggas <laughs> move tack, bro, you feel me? I ain't gonna tell niggas stay dangerous, cause that's the shit that be getting y'all niggas killed. Y'all niggas be thinking y'all dangerous. Y'all niggas think y'all got a gun and y'all think y'all invincible and shit. Niggas feel like when they got a gun, they don't need to move small. Because they, they got a gun. Like, come on, bro. You got to move smart. You feel me? Real nigga shit. That niggas move more tact. Like, comment, subscribe. Because we on the road to 100K, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Upper Class. <laughs> if you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.